Hey, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and on this video I wanted to talk about session templates. So with a template, uh, you could think about it as a, uh, creating a session where all the parameters are predetermined, they're saved within that template. So that includes uh, all of your tracks, how many tracks, what type of tracks, your input and output settings, uh, bus settings on the track, plugins, the session tempo, everything is self-contained in that template. Now the downside of that is things like automation data, for instance, is saved within that template as well if you had that written on the session and you created a template from it. So you select your session template and it is uh, created within these parameters here. So your bit depth, sample rate, and then it will automatically be saved to your location you have set here unless you have it uh, set to prompt for location. There's various settings here. So we got uh, music, uh, guitar. These are just default that come with Pro Tools and you can create your own templates from a session which I'll show you in a bit. Go to music and we'll just pick dubstep again. We'll rename it and then hit save. So it's going to be saved at 24 bit, 44 one to my G drive. So we have all of this set up now. And as I had explained earlier, you can see MIDI data, uh, comments, track names, everything was saved within this template. Our plugins, everything is there. As you can expect, you, you can go in and change inputs. I mean, you can change anything you want, just like a normal session. This is just a quick way to launch into it. So the next subject from here would be creating a session template. Let's go and uh, let's just open this session here for whatever reason. So this session pops up and say I like um, the track layout. So the track names, uh, my effects template, um, everything like that. I just I want to work within these parameters. Uh, one way would be as if you say you're tracking a band and everything is, is very similar in the tracking, uh, doing the full band tracking from one song to the next. You could get the first song set up, make sure everything's good, save it as a template and just be able to launch that template, rename it and just continue on to the next song quickly. So if we have all this set how we want it, we're happy and we want to save this as a template. We can just go here under File, Save as Template. Um, we can save here under the category. So we could create a new category if we want to or just save it. I'll just leave it here at Music. Uh, we can name it tracking anything we want. Um, so select the default location is in your Documents folder where all the other templates are so we would just save that within there include media this is means is it going to include any audio or MIDI data in the session so most situations I would guess probably not so I would not have that selected and we can click OK and now all of that data is saved as a template so let's close out of here so let's Go to create a new session and there it is right there and so again we might want to change the name of it especially if it's going into the same folder as the previous session so we could just whatever the name of the song is or however you want to do that and again these settings are going to be relevant it'll save automatically create And here is our session with everything set, as I stated, even automation is included with it. But again, all of my plugins, everything like that is saved within the session, inputs, output, buses, um, mute settings, everything is there. So it's just an exact duplicate minus the audio files. So to open it up, we would need to go to that G drive. So Control-O, 
and I'm on the H drive now. Let me go back to G, and there it was, the one I had named New Sessions right there. I hope this video helps. Feel free to contact us with any questions, and thank you for watching the video. Mm -hmm.